You'll also need a rank 3 charm to start this confidant. Yes, I'd love to plug you a social stat guide video of mine, but I don't have one because I'm dumb. A mistake I won't make again. Today I'm going to show you how to max all of your social stats and become the ultimate Giga Chad in Persona 5 Royal. This video helped play Neo The World Ends With You. Each stat has a certain point threshold for each rank. Once you've reached the appropriate number of points, you rank up. The notes above your head indicate how many points you've been given when you receive points. The reason ranking up your social stats is important is because not having the right stats can stop a confidant from progressing or even starting. Today I'll be showing you which activities give the most points consistently. Before we start there's some do's and don'ts that we're gonna follow to make sure we're leveling up as fast as we can. Make sure you keep track of your progress by going to the bathroom in Leblanc. As embarrassing as this is to admit I only discovered this in my second playthrough. Every Sunday there's a drink stand in Shibuya that will give you points in a random stat. Make sure you visit every Sunday. Don't watch the same movies twice unless you feel like you have to. The first time you see a film, you will get more points than normal and get less afterwards. Make sure you accept invitations to events from your friends. They give big social stat boosts. Make sure you're saving so that you can reload if you're getting points for a stat that you already have maxed. Do not do the Big Bang Burger Challenge if you don't know that you'll be able to beat it. The Big Bang Burger Challenge can increase all of your stats at once if you meet the requirements to finish them but if you fail, you'll only get a few points in gut. The new location in Persona 5 Royal allows you to bond with your confidants through games of billiards, while also giving you two points in any random social stat except kindness. While the points may be lower than other methods, you can also increase tactical damage through this activity. Don't read a book outside of the train unless you know you'll finish it. Reading in the train doesn't pass time, so it's the best time to read. Video games and DVDs are a nice way to consistently raise stats since they increase stats upon completion of each part. Also a nice choice for when you're trapped in your room. You can buy a TV from the secondhand shop in Yongin Jaya, as well as the game console on July 26th. More games can be found in Akihabara. DVDs can be found in Shibuya at Rental Shop Scarlet. Working at the Shinjuku Bar is a nice way to kill two birds with one stone. Under normal circumstances, your kindness will go up, but some days the bar is crowded and you'll have an opportunity to speak to someone. This will give you some bonus points in a different stat. Don't miss out on one-time events. If you look around enough, there are some other activities that can increase your points in a social stat once without passing the time. Don't miss out on them. Now that that's out of the way, we can discuss the best ways to increase your social stats. We'll be starting with knowledge. Knowledge is normally the one that takes the longest to increase in Persona games due to its massive point requirement, but there's plenty of opportunities to get those points up. Your knowledge also dictates how well you do on each test, even if you get all the answers right, which kind of sucks. Make sure you answer every question in class correctly. You will increase your knowledge without passing up time. You can even look up the answers while connected to the Phantom Thieves Network. Work. Study, study, study. This is the best and most consistent way to rank this social stat up because of how many opportunities there are to do it. Study in the school library, especially when it's raining to get a huge point boost. Study when you have free time to earn points without passing up time. In the evening, there's a couple methods in LeBlanc to increase knowledge without passing time. The first way is to do the crossword puzzle. On certain days, you'll be able to solve one to get your knowledge up without passing time. There's also a quiz show that you can try that will increase knowledge without passing up time. If neither of those are available, studying in LeBlanc is also an option. Visiting the Kichijoji information desk will give you a one-time increase in knowledge as well. Hanging out with Mishima will also give you some knowledge points. Since he has amazing perks, this is a great way to spend time. If your group members ask to study together, accept it. You'll get a lot of points from studying together. On October 2nd, Futaba will ask you to hang out with her. Doing so will give you a ton of points in knowledge. With Guts, it's pretty difficult to give a definitive best method to ranking it up, but I'd say my preferred method methods are to study during the Kamashita arc since you will gain knowledge as well, and to hang out with Tai Takemi since you'll also be ranking up her death confidant. If speed is your preference, I would say watching DVDs and playing video games that increase guts is the way to go. One time events that don't pass time are sitting on the sofa in Kichi Joji, examining the donut shop in Kichi Joji, and putting the Phantom Thieves logo on the blackboard anytime after October 31st. Event invites are as follows, Ryuji July 28th and August 13th. Futa Taba on September 25th, Makoto on July 28th, and Haru on November 13th. Each of these will give big boosts to Guts. When it comes to proficiency, there are three amazing ways to increase it. The earliest available method is to just make infiltration tools, which can be done in your room in the evening. Making infiltration tools during free time in class is also an option. My favorite way to increase proficiency is by playing darts with your party. Not only do you gain points towards their confidant, but you'll also be able to rank up their baton pass levels, which is very 
important. You're making progress towards many things at once. Another great way to rank up proficiency is to hang out with EY, though that method is a bit more work since you need to have dauntless guts to hang out with him. If you fix the broken laptop that you can buy at some point in the game, you can get a nice chunk of points. Accepting Futaba's invite on October 10th will net you a lot of proficiency points. Kindness has a lot of amazing choices that stand out. The method immediately available is cleaning the blonde, though it doesn't give you the most points. You're probably better off studying or making tools. Working at the flower shop is the most consistent way to earn points for this stat. Not only do you get good points just from working, but you also get more during an event that happens there, ensuring you rank up fast. Kindness focused DVDs give more points than the other stats for some reason, so make sure you grab those. Make sure to take care of the plant in your room. This doesn't take up time and gives you points based on the quality of fertilizer you use which can be purchased from the flower shop in Shibuya or Shinjuku. Hanging out with Sojiro and Shinya also gives points to kindness while leveling these confidants. I would hang out with Sojiro personally since he lets you make coffee and curry as well as gives you more points towards ranking kindness. Accepting Ryuji's invite on May 29th or Yusuke's on August 5th will give you big boosts in kindness. Charm gives you a whole plethora of options when it comes to ranking up fast. There are three ways you rank up without passing time. The first is to just answer questions correctly in class. Remember to use the Phantom Thieves Network if you don't know an answer. Every now and then the teacher will throw chalk at you if you're not paying attention. If you have a high enough proficiency stat, you'll be able to dodge the chalk, giving you more charm. The last time free method is by doing well on your test. Unfortunately, your results are based on your knowledge stat no matter how many questions you get right. If it's high enough to be above average, you'll get a nice chunk of points. But if your knowledge is high enough to place you in top 10, you'll get even more points. When it comes to activities, there are also three methods for ranking up charm. The earliest method is going to the public bath. Going on Sundays or rainy days gets you more points than usual. Working at the convenience store is also a good way to earn points. Events will earn you more points than normal. Going to the maid cafe in Akihabara is another good way to get points, and ordering off of the secret menu gives you even more charm. Hanging out with Yoshida and Oya also yields good points. However, I'd recommend going with Yoshida over Oya, since he ranks up guaranteed every time time and has much more useful perks. Accepting invites from On on July 17th, Yusuke on July 27th, August 8th, and August 11th, or Ryuji on August 3rd will net you big charm increases. While these methods are good on their own, there are some methods that will make you rank up these points even faster. The first being Shihaya's confidant. We all know how broken she is. Her rank 1 perk is called luck reading, which increases the points you gain in your stats by 50% for the whole day. This saves you a ton of time. There are some books that will also save you a ton of time. One of them being a book called Speed Reading, which is available on July 1st in the school library. Finishing this book will allow you to finish two parts of a book instead of one, making reading books much more worthwhile. The bookstore in Shinjuku sells some amazing books, Cinema Treasures being one of my favorites in the game. It allows you to gain even more points than you normally would from going to the movies or watching DVDs, making other methods potentially obsolete depending on the stat. The ABCs of crafting gives you a higher chance to gain extra points when making infiltration tools. Game Secrets makes every video game easier for those struggling to beat them. The last book I would like to mention is called Factorized Study Methods. You can get it from a trader in the back alley of Kichi Joji. If you give him a MRE ration from the untouchable vending machine between July 26th and the 30th, he will give you the book which increases the knowledge gained from studying. And that's a wrap for this video. If it helped, make sure you subscribe for future tutorials, and if you're looking for some more gamers to vibe with, click the link in my description to join my Discord server. Peace. Okay.